there, people in the internet, hello again, I'm Dippin' Wilson, welcome to part 56, I think, of my Jurassic World Evolution Let's Play series. My apologies, because once again, my video file decided to go corrupt, Um, well, my external hard drive decided to eject on its own, because why not, right? Always it's like, yahoo, bungee jump, goodbye. So you guys missed 25 minutes, what I did in the first 25 minutes was basically all of this. I had <sighs> shut up, because, well, please. I don't have to. Anybody else would have done the same. Acted as I did. Well, except they didn't, and I did. Acted heroically. Thank you for shutting the fuck up. Uh, basically, what I did in those 25 minutes was this. I added all the dinosaurs for the Jurassic Safari over here, as you can see. I have got six Stegosauruses. I've got three. Uh, Diplodocus, I've got two Camarasaurus and four Brachiosauruses. And that makes up the entire Jurassic Safari. That's what I did in those 25 minutes. What I did in the previous episodes, which is what you guys have seen, is I did the mission over here with the Trovodon. And some other things. I, and I basically built the paddock, but I didn't release anything just yet. Uh, right, okay, so right now, well, I'm doing these two missions, but right now I'm going to do the big entertainment mission, because the big science mission requires a lower titan, which I haven't even discovered yet. But I think once I start the mission, I get the opportunity to do that, but, you know, this seems a bit easier. So we need to hatch all of these guys with a certain rating and then release them in the thing. I've basically got all of them already in the other paddock, but uh, whatever. So, H3TO with 12. Let's actually see if I need to modify anything already. H3TO with 12. It has 14, so that's good. And then, Corytho, 30, Corytho 35 and Montosaurus 28. Corytho 35. Yep. Uh, and Monto 28. Easy. Okay, so I don't need to modify anything and can just start hatching them. Yeah, I built this paddock. This is going to be the uh, Chinese Jurassic Safari. I don't know if I need to change it. I think I need to make it a bit bigger because I feel like the Mamanki sources are not going to be too happy about the size. I think they require a bit more size than that, but... Oh, well, we will see eventually. Um, anyway... Um, for now, we'll use this for both the science and the security, and the, the entertainment mission, I mean. I'll just use that for now. Um, for both those missions, and then I'll sell everything that will have anything to do with those missions, and then we will actually put the actual dinosaurs in there. Then, over here, here in the middle, we're going to basically use this entire area in the middle to build a T-Rex paddock, with viewing domes on all the sides. Then we're going to move the Troodons into the T-Rex paddock, and we're going to use this one for the Dinonychus. And I thought I was the only competent one around here. I don't know how much of that plan I said in other episodes, because as I said, I lost 25 minutes of recording, so that's why I said it again. Maybe I've already said it in the last episodes, maybe I haven't, but at least you know now. Okay, so we have a group adaptation, wherever it is. There. It raises the minimum and maximum social requirements of a dinosaur. Oh, that's not the one that I need. That only increases social. I needed this. Increases the maximum population requirements. Yeah, I need this. Because then dinosaurs... I need to do that on like dinosaurs like Pulacanthus and stuff. Because otherwise... Yeah, because I wanted them to coexist with more others. And I thought that that was the one that was going to give it to me, but no. So probably I will only unlock that on the other uh, the, the other islands, which sucks balls, but all right. What was the reward for these again? Grasslands and solitary. Okay, yeah, I can only get that on the other island, apparently. All right. Uh, yeah, I don't need to hatch anything there. Let's start the entertainment mission. Now that is what I was hoping to hear. The entertainment division is where all the excitement can be found. Am I right? Or am I right? Uh alright, so Corythosaurus. Okay, so this is what I need. I'm looking for three dinosaur species. 
Mix it up a little. We're then gonna add a little spice to each. Better dinos, better shows, more paying customers. You know the drill. So Isaac is pushing for a higher quality of dinosaur for his exhibits, is he? That would be beneficial across the board, I think. That's not an effort one would criticize. But you know, give me time. <laughs> Alright, so let's start off with Corythosaurus. As good as dinosaurs I need to start off with. You never let your foot off the gas until that contract crossed the finish line. Alright, so do we have which is the lowest one? Science? No entertainment is lowest. Do you have a quick entertainment mission to do in the meantime? Hello! New contract time! No, oh, that's easy. It has been on five forever. Oh the the there are not enough shops around somewhere. Oh, it's a Brachiosaurus. Confirmed. Okay, why the hell... Alright, where do we need new buildings then? Ah, over there. That one is just too far away from everything. Yeah, that one Gryosphere, that's like just in between everything. Ah, that sucks a bit. Um, hang on. Can I? Can I do that? Without everything going haywire around here? Man, remember... You, yeah, you guys are the bitches ones of the bunch. And you actually... It's very close. It's pretty funny, they want fuck tons of woods, but they stay in the grassland area the whole time. Someone's not being sincere. Okay, and... Diplodocus? Diplodocus is basically fine with everything, and Brachiosaurus? Is just fine with everything, okay, cool. Then, what we can do... Uh, and even if it doesn't work, I can revert it back. No worries. Oh, we need to get rid of the water here first. Yeah, I don't think we can fit any food buildings in here. Ah, it's just... It's so close. If we move this thing like slightly to the left, maybe. Way to bring this thing home. Oh, I did actually do that somehow, even though I haven't done this. But it's all right. Well, but yeah, I just <laughs> just need to nudge this thing slightly to the left. Well, I'm busy doing that right now. Mm -hmm. That's no lie. It's not really the truth either, but <laughs> whatever. Yeah, are we going to demolish this and then move it further? Fuck it, why not? Okay. A large power station. Hmm. Don't think... Oh, I have enough room here, but not there. Uh, shopping should still be fine around here. So apparently you've hit your dinosaur count targets. That's good for you and good for the science division. So okay. Good for you. One more Corythosaurus. And then we need... Edmontosaurus four times. 
Oh yeah, the, everything is uh, waiting for power now. All right, please hurry up then. Yeah, I need to. If I want to get it done, I need to move that one, that one, and that one. But that's all right. They're just like one spot in between where I can't build a building. That's all right. Just fucking hurry up and get this thing done. It's a bit of a shame you can't like pick it up and nudge it. Well, then again, you couldn't in real life, so. There we go. Are you almost done yet? <laughs> Holy crap, hurry up. Alright, it's still 99% covered by the shelter, so that's good. Yeah, I'm not gonna forget to put the shelter down, so let's like do that immediately over here. Or can I do it here? No. Okay. Protection. Improved outputs. Improved outputs. Protection. Improved outputs. There you go. And how is food? Uh, Dino Feast. There we go. And that takes care of that. Drinks, fine. Gifts, fine. Fun. We need fun down there. Um, well, arcades. There you go. Also, uh, can you... Do you need to manage? Yeah. A value tour, standard tour, deluxe tour. I didn't even know you could f change that. Twenty dollars for a value tour. We'll do a deluxe tour over there. I don't even know what the difference is between those, but I will do that. There we go. Deluxe tour. Thirty-three. I didn't even know you could change that. I thought it was just a gryosphere and then it's like whatever. There we go. Uh, then again, we should change that one into a deluxe tour then as well. There we go. You can't change this, right? No, okay. Don't know why this is so deluxe then. What the difference is. Maybe you get more audio uh, support or something like that. I really love this one. I really love that one. They uh, they really like to get up close to the Giganota services, apparently. There's a new contract. Go away. Oh yeah, fuck. I forgot to... Incubase. Because I was busy with the power. 
Okay, that's the final Corythosaurus. Then we need some more Edmontos, and then we need to fill up on Struthios. Oh, look at them. They're all sleeping together. How cute. Your comfort is fine, right? Yeah, yeah, these guys are very easy to keep uh, to keep uh, in paddocks. Uh, incubate another Edmonto, and then once he's released, we need to incubate another one. So we got all the Corythos, then we need four Edmontos. I have feeders in there, right? Yes, I do. I need some more feeders. They're going to be uh, a whole bunch of ground herbivores there in the Chinese uh, Jurassic Farby later. So, there. There we go. We got one at Montosaurus, and the other three are on there, right? Let's actually check on the gate numbers, see if everything's still alright. 11, 12, 13, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That's it. Okay. Very good. Then check the viewing galleries. 1, 2, 3, 4, oh, 5. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and that's it. Very good. And then we need to release some of you. There we go. That's all the Edmontos. Then we just need a whole bunch of Struthios. Okay, four hotels. That's right. Four power stations. That's right. Fast foods. One, two, three. Three arcades. Next gen... 22. Okay, shop one. Oh, they call this one number two somehow. Ah, oh, fuck it. I'll leave it like that. I have to get used to that. Oh, wow. We actually have some guys at the bar. Actually, like a lot of guys at the bar. And the other bar? Not as many. Ladies and gentlemen, we are pleased to welcome an Edmontosaurus to the park. Who is low health? Is it Dreadnoughtus? Yes, it is. <laughs> the Gigadotosaurus are not giving it any rest. It's also a bit of the fault of the Dreadnoughtus himself, because they do tend to wander around quite a lot when they have more than enough time to actually eat. Oh, they're sleeping in the holding pen. That's not really what I want. Okay, we have... Yeah, we have all of that. We just need eight Struthiomimuses. Luckily, these guys are done rather quickly, so... Supply 
There we go. He still needs to eat. He's also hungry. Yeah, he's panicking. That's because of the freaking cars. Now, come on. The, the digging out the sources are all the way out there. You can stop panicking now. And start eating. And that's three Struthios. The rating of 12. Yeah, I was about to say. Another. Why are you guys still panicking? There's nothing on the matter. I'll exit this guy through here. Oh, don't overrun that Struthio. Oh shit, sorry! Whoa! I'll put the gate over there. I'll drive this thing out. Through there. Oh, careful, careful! Whoa! Boop. Ah. Uh, scratch on the door. That's unfortunate. Okay, how many do we have? I had three. One, two, three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And then one more after that. Okay, he's feeding. Very good. He's finally getting some food in there. You're feeding. It's very good. You're also finally getting some food in there. You also are starving, looking for food. Something's come up that could be interesting. Eh, uh, well, just decline for now. Yeah, I know that there is water here, so you guys can also drink from there. You don't need to go to the lake in the middle. Okay, he's also finally eating. There we go, his food is getting up significantly. He's almost got his food all the way up. That's very good. Oh, and they're going to ruin everything. Haha. <laughs> Sucks to be a Dreadnoughtus. Alright, how many more after that? One more? Or... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yeah. That's the final one. Yeah, they're all panicking. Wow, they finally had to, they finally had time to eat something, but no. The fucking Giganotosaurus had to randomly walk down there. Right, so where there, where's the damage? Over there, clothes shop. Uh, you can actually do that. And then those two once you're done. You can resupply those two. As well as those two. You need to fix that. And you need to fix those two. And those two. Any other structure damage? Yes. 
fix that. Uh, there. Just for you. Okay, that one's drinking over there. I'm getting, oh, I was about to say, he's, he's gonna fucking panic any second now. And he's panicking towards them because that's how you panic. You When you're scared, you run towards the thing that you're scared about. That's how, that's exactly how that works. Facing your fears and stuff, you know? Alright, so the... I heard a fence attack. I bet that was Velociraptor. And I bet they didn't get through. And I was right on both occasions. They haven't even damaged the fence at all. So electrified concrete fences are keeping them out nicely. Everything's looking good here. These new dinosaurs are perfect. <laughs> wow, okay. I think you've reached the moment you can take your efforts to the next level. I want you to introduce a pack of raptors into the enclosure. Yeah, because why not? Results. And I want to keep a lid on this. So keep guest casualties to a minimum, would you? Keep gas casualties to a minimum. I already know what's going to happen then when she tell me that. They're going to be agitated no matter what and they're going to try and, and kill the guests and have, to, and have to keep up with them for like 1500 minutes or something. That's probably what I have to do. Uh, let's close this gate first and then uh, release the three raptors and then open the gates. What did I modify on the raptors again? Was it less stress? I believe it was, actually. Yeah, he has less, uh, the comfort is lower, so it takes longer for the raptors to become agitated. And it also decreases their rating. Uh, they're not, th then they're actual monsters and not ridiculous, then they're actual, actual creatures rather than monsters and things of our imagination. Uh, less rating for you, bitch. And it's that a Dreadnoughtus? It is. Dispense now, looking for food. Come on! They're fighting amongst each other. Just eat, don't panic. No worry, no need to panic. They're far away. There we go, feeding. Okay, he can eat something. He needs to drink something afterwards. It's a bit stu- it's, No, not stupid, but it's a bit annoying that their food uh, rating goes up so slowly. They s sit here forever eating. And the food thing just still hasn't gone up. Or it's very slowly going up. And he's panicking. And you're panicking too. Your health is increasing, right? Yeah, 90, yeah. And their health, yeah, okay. So only your health is pretty low. Okay, just keep eating, keep eating. Get your food bar as far up as you can, and then you just need to go and find a nice and safe uh, place to drink. I never see these guys eating and drinking, but every time I check, their food and water is perfectly fine. No, it's still a ridiculously busy tour over here. I've got something for you. Three Carnotauruses. Cartatorses can't even live with more than two together. Oh, now he's panicking. Well, that's not necessary at all. 
He had to finish his eating animation and now he's going to finish his panic animation. Alright. Velociraptors. Because this is a fantastic mission. The socializing. <laughs> Are you so hungry as well? Yeah, I'm also so hungry. My hunger bar doesn't go very go up very quickly. No, mine doesn't go up very quickly either. Why are you still panicking? They're fucking f miles away. Kilometers away. I don't know what measurement you dinosaurs use. Yeah, there we go. Look at that nice comfort. Ugh. We are pleased to welcome a Velociraptor to the park. Or whatever the sound is they make when they socialize, which is what they're doing right now. Oh, go ahead and kill something. I don't want you to, but that's probably what you're going to do. star attractions to menu items this was not part of the plan yeah well, it was part of the dr Wu plan which i was allowed which i wasn't allowed to talk to you about ensure that they're all housed together yep well they are about to be housed together they are housed together what the hell do you want from me do we have to actually replace the dead guys? Because I'm not going to. Ensure all mission specific dinosaur house together. I'm doing that. Oh, for so many minutes, yeah. Well, how can I fill this? Probably because when something dies or something. Too many guest casualties. Oh, that's fine. Those raptors can basically eat everything and then it's fine. I don't even know what the fuck Dr. Wu is trying to figure out doing this. I mean, it's not really you're not really learning anything from this, except how raptors hunt, but I bet they already figured that out before they started housing them. And of course, the poor Dreadnoughtus who is extremely who has extremely poor health is once again getting a visit from the two Giganotosauruses. <laughs> By the looks of it, the only dinosaurs that are killing for sport isn't the Indominus, it's also the Velociraptor. Well, they can go on the, they can go on the killing spree for... Mm, doesn't really matter for how long, because... Uh, as long as no guests die, it's fine. Apparently. What the fuck? They're not even doing this for food, they're just killing just because it's fun. That's really stupid. Because according to the game, uh, only Indominus did that, but apparently that's uh, a lie. It's a total lie. Okay, you're standing in the water. Please go ahead and drink as much as you can, because you already have to get your food rating up again. Looking for water, dude, you're standing in it. I mean, you see, this one, I mean, that, that this is what I meant by the, it's kind of the Dreadnoughts' fault as well. They're so fucking... They're looking for water so long, even though they're standing right in it. Well, right now he's actually drinking. Finally. So let's fucking shoot that water... Uh, Water raising up. There is another dead dinosaur. Or is that the one being transported? Oh, that was the one being transported. Okay. What? Why did you only drink that? <sighs> he only drank like fucking a little bit. And now he's busy dying. That's literally its activity. It's oh oh that, oh okay. Apparently I didn't even know that. I thought it was just over exaggerating. It's actually dying right there. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. 
not on my watch. I'm going to pump so much medicine in you, you're going to take care of those uh, digging out the sources like it's no big deal. You're not dying on my watch, bitch. Also have to fucking shoot 500 of these things into your body before your health actually gets back up. There. Alright, in reverse. Oh. No, 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 no. Close this gates, please. Otherwise they're gonna get us. Okay, Dreadnought is number one. Where are you? Oh, there, you're, you're thirsty, but you're panicking because you got the whole bunch of medicine shot into your body. Why do we have the timer, like, stopping? That's easy. Why, why did the timer stop? That's our job. Do you have to get rid of the this dead one? Enhances our ability to do so. Oh, I don't know why, but the timer just stopped and now it's going again. Okay, whatever. Please, Giganotosaurus, could you like leave could you leave those guys alone for just one moment? One moment is already not long enough for these dre dreadnoughtuses, but Could you at least try? Yeah, he really needs to eat something. He's gonna go to the water, but they're already gigging out the sources there, so they're gonna... <sighs> wow, guys, fucking wow. <sighs> Alright, while the timer just slowly runs over, I'll just try and do this. Where is the horn on your car when you need it? Hey! Hey, big guys! Hello! Hello! I know you like to follow cars. I know you do. Come on, follow me! Come on! Come on, boy! I don't have a, a fucking horn on my car anymore. I hated the horn in Operation Genesis, because it, the, the game would automatically do that all the time. And now I kind of miss the horn. Yeah, that's right. Come on! I hear something really close, oh my god! <laughs> Handbrake turn. Exactly. Hey, where's your friend? Your friend didn't come with. Oh, there he is. She is. In my mind, she's the female and the other guy's the male. Hello. Just toying with you guys a little bit. Testing your agility. There are fucking three dead dinosaurs. Oh, and the mission was complete. Good. Mission ratings increase. Okay. Okay. That was unexpected. And spectacular. Our guests do really love watching our dinosaurs fight. Modern Colosseum, right? Colossal entertainment. Yeah. Just let me in on it next time, yeah? <laughs> part of my research. Sure. Boosted your entertainment value. A win all around. And considering how some of the animals fared, I'd say a bruised ego was worth the price, wouldn't you? Truth is, I don't much like you, Dr. Wu, and I'm not alone. But it is hard to argue with your results. Alright, so now it's time to clean up everything, tranquilize everyone, sell them and get them out. Right, we have that grassland habitation now. Asset transportation underway. 
Okay, so I moved both of the Giganotosauruses all the way over there. Due to my, uh... Extremely smart, uh... Car maneuvers. But it looks like they're already going to come back. And these guys haven't stopped panicking yet. <laughs> wow, you are really determined to fuck up their day, aren't you? He just ran all the way from there to there, non-stop, just to fuck up their day, because you're not really going to do anything. You're just going to... You know, you're just going to be there, and that's going to be enough for these guys to be worried. Oh, you wanted a ghost. That's why. Okay, he's feeding. That's fine. That means his feeding animation will last a while. Okay, and then we can immediately do 3.0. Then that is finished. Those guys can stay there and not bother the Dreadnoughtuses. You're drinking. You are eating. Very good. There we go. They're finally getting their food and drink uh, under control. How about I remove all of those... And just put those, and also the uh, live bait feeders. We'll keep that one. And then maybe they'll go stay on that side a bit more. Of course, when the goats run away, I can't dictate where the goats go. I don't even think they use those uh, these things. Yeah, unused, you see. Okay, he got his water all the way up to the max, so that's good. And you're busy eating still. You're getting your food all the way up. Then you need to drink something afterwards. It's going well. Yeah, he, he ran over there just because there was a goat there, yeah. And she just likes to stay with the other Gigadotosaurus. Tranquilize, tranquilize, tranquilize. Okay. Oh. <laughs> it's going to be really busy in the air right now. There we go, selling all of those, and then we need to tranquilize a couple more and sell them too. You've got low health. You need to get some water. I want to take this contract. What skin have you got on? Step. And the other ones have Tiger, right? A oh, Tundra. Well, by now, oh, almost the same. They are panicking, but at least this guy's got his food all the way up. How about we do that? Let the goats only come from that size. Alright. There we go. Just need to sell the last ones and then uh, we're good. Okay, well we need to heal that Dreadnoughtus and then I'm going to end off the episodes once I've done that. Oh goat, hello. Oh, Dreadnoughtus. Oh, that's the right one. Perfect. I know that you're finally away from those... Oh, never mind. The Giganotosaur is right there, but still. There. <laughs> oh, 
Uh. Hey, want to do a race to the other side of the paddock? Oh, no, they want to f see who's the stronger Giganotosaurus. Oh, I can really quickly replenish you. Slide on by and then don't hit that Giganotosaurus. <laughs> you know what DK stands for? <laughs> Donkey Kong? Drift King! <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I just can't help myself. Oh gosh! Well, you can get out of that one. Alright, so we'll just wait a couple seconds until that mission is over. There we go. There we go. Everything is basically on the same level. Okay, the only thing we need to do here now is the science mission. It's about to say security. Um, so yeah, Draco Rex, uh, Edmontosaurus, Triceratops, Allura Titan. I bet we will unlock a lower titan once we uh, start this mission, but uh, whatever. So yeah, um, I'm going to end off the episode here. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Uh, in the next episode, uh, well, we'll do the science mission. And uh, after that's over, we will fi once again, finally, focus on getting the park uh, finishing this island. Or this part of the islands, because this is Moretta. Oh! East. One sad Struthio that I forgot to sell. Hmm. I do feel like lifespan lasts a lot longer now. I don't know why. Anyway, hope you almost enjoyed the video. Click the like button underneath if you did. Subscribe to be part of the Roman Army so you never miss any of my videos. You can do that by clicking the subscribe button on the left of the video or the subscribe button underneath the video. See you later, Romans. Ave!